Hi guys, today I'm gonna review JBL Horizon 2 alarm clock and radio with the Bluetooth speaker inside. So it's the latest model. So the one thing that is weird for me is that it has a really large like adapter. Not sure why it's so huge. Anyway, it feels weird and sometimes you cannot plug in with some other devices because that part really takes a lot of room in the socket it comes with EU adapter and also in the box there's US adapter those are removable as you can see so let's plug it in and see how it works so here it is plugged in you can see the display is welded in a bright Later I will show it in the dark. I would say the screen is not so accurate. Sometimes if it's really bright but the sensor doesn't understand it doesn't show well lit screen. And I used to have a clock uh, that I could see from the mirror. But this clock I cannot see from the mirror. That's a little bit away from this clock because it just doesn't display bright enough numbers um, and you cannot really change the brightness of those numbers here so it's an automatic sensor that changes itself so that's really a minus I would say mm, also I mean it would be nice if they would have added like degrees or something here like thermometer this in here uh, so this is how it shows you the display you can set like 12 hour clock or 24 hour clock and there are different languages mine is in English so guys let's uh, do a test I will turn off the lights and see how the brightness of the clock changes Let's see it's really bright and it should dim in a minute this is how it looks mm, dark I would say this brightness represents it better so it uh, gets quite dark but for the night time it's perfect the only problem is when it's uh, bright outside but somehow the dimmer doesn't understand that it's bright outside and think it's dark so it dims down and you cannot see uh, it happens few times plus the glossy screen so this can be a little problem but otherwise I would say it's good well lit at night and well lit at daytime so no problems actually with that so the main function why I bought is to wake up on the radio and to set an alarm it's really easy just push the button that says bell and number one here so once I push it it changes the setting so now it's on and it shows on display and I'm going to turn the alarm one off it shows off so if I want to edit an alarm I hold it three seconds so here I can then change the time of the alarm and then just click further it's weekday every day once weekday weekend every day once so I'm gonna leave this on weekday it's a radio or you can select rise solar sounds also you can select the volume make it louder 
I usually use it at 6 and you can choose whether you want the light come on when the alarm goes off or not there are two alarms that you can set number one is here and number two is here so I have number two set to another time on weekends but if you have a let's say another person he can set his alarm on different time or something so these are the settings so the second alarm is on I'm gonna turn it off because I don't need it so I set the alarm now in a minute it should go off and we can see how it functions so it turns on the light let's say a minute before an alarm and the light goes brighter and brighter the volume gradually increases until to the set setting So you can use snooze function here so you can see it snoozes for 10 minutes so the main thing about the alarm that I'm a bit disappointed is that once the radio goes off and you don't touch any buttons it plays radio for let's say 10 minutes I think and then it like turns off well it's like your usual alarm it beeps for 10 minutes and then it turns off like snoozes 10 minutes and then it goes off again and there's no way to change it I would have expected the alarm to go off and then the radio plays until I turn it off you can turn on the light but you cannot regulate it so there's no button where you can dim the light for a small bedroom as a night light I would say it's pretty good but the thing is that area is quite small so it like has a bright spot in the beginning but at the same time it doesn't light up much of a room so it's like a, a single bright spot rather if it's facing the wall So let's turn it off. Here's the button to select FM or DAB. You can save three favorite radio stations. I would have liked four and there would have been more room here. Here's the radio scan button further and back so how you turn on the radio is whether you just press the station button it starts playing and you can just scan the radio further comes with the, like this antenna wire it goes really loud I haven't used it to the max because it goes really loud really fast used around 10 11 usually I would say the sound quality is good and it's pretty loud but the radio let's say it jumps by 
5 megahertz so it's digital radio so you can't really adjust you have to be in a good place where you can have a good reception for the radio because you cannot dim it like let's say if it would be a manual you could just dim it and have a better let's say reception but here it, it jumps by 0 0.5 megahertz so So I would say the antenna is a bit short for my house, it's not really long, so it's not the best reception for the radio. I have expected a better quality for it, so I'm thinking maybe I can get some other longer antenna for the radio, but we'll see then. If you want to connect some Bluetooth device, you're just gonna press the Bluetooth and it starts connecting. And it's seamless, I haven't had any trouble with Bluetooth. So, so this is how it looks behind. Here's the light. This is how it dims and turns off. That's this JBL written here again all the buttons not so many of those this is the bottom so here's the battery battery was in the clock already so this here is a wire for antenna next one is power adapter and it has aux in also and here is a time setting resetting button beneath the clock so it's not really big as you can see I thought it's gonna be bigger On the surface, it has this kind of mesh, I would say cotton or some kind of cloth material. So probably it will collect some dust and you have to blow it out. But otherwise I like this clock. It's enough for a bedroom. The power of the speaker. The only thing I'm disappointed is reception of the antenna. Let's say I would have expected better, and maybe it would be good if it had, like, let's say, Wi-Fi connection, so you can really maybe somehow stream internet radios. Because let's say Bluetooth, no issues, but the radio quality because of bad reception in my area, or who knows what is causing that is a bit, bit bad so I'm disappointed about that plus you cannot really regulate uh, the radio frequency manually but it jumps like 0 0.5 megahertz so you cannot go really specific it is digital and it regulates itself also what I've expected maybe five favorite radio stations to remember also maybe a dimmable light dimmable screen and also that on a wake up the radio doesn't turn off in 10 minutes but it could play until you manually touch some buttons that will turn off the alarm
So guys, smash that like button if you like the review and subscribe for our channel to support my work. Thank you very much.